Now we are going to see the system trace using the transaction ST01. By this transaction we can set the system trace on to analyze by checking the required parameters and activate the trace on for a period. The, the trace is normally kept off as this involves the storage space it is activated for a short period of analysis and then the trace is set to off. So we will see how we are going to set the trace on and off. Okay. So first of all you have to use the transaction ST01 for tracing any error. Now once you enter into ST01 transaction you can see here change trace. Okay. So here it's already the trace is on. So if you want to off, you just click on trace off. Once you click on trace off, this will become trace on. So if you want to analyze the system trace, any issues uh, with respect to authorization check or if you want to check any SQL trace, table buffer trace, RSE calls, HTTP calls or log entry calls, here you need to check say for example authorization you want to um, check SQL trace you will check that box and then what you will do you will click on trace on so once you click on trace on now you need to go to analysis so once you go to analysis it will trace you know start tracing like you want to trace all the records. I mean like from authorization check, kernel function, general kernel, table buffer, trace, everything is now going to check. So now if you want to assign a username for particular username for tracing what is causing the issue, you have to specify the username there and the date you have to put for that. Okay. Once you have given this information, then you have to click on execute. So if there is no trace find, it will send a message saying that no records that corresponding to this search criteria found. That means there is no SQL trace or any other issue found. So this is how you have to trace the error. Thank you so much.